Google Earth has been around for some time, but now with a few recent updates, educators can start to leverage this platform to create custom Google Earth tours for their students to explore the world where you can point them to specific locations on this path. So let's get started. I've navigated over to Google Earth and I'm doing this on the web and it also runs on Chromebooks. So I'm gonna launch Google Earth. So once we give this a moment to get up and running, what I'm able to do is start a new project in Google Earth. And in any project, I can start to curate locations from around the world to be included. And when I'm totally done, I can share this out. So if you'll notice in the Google Earth interface on the web, along the left-hand side, there's a new option here called projects. So I'll open that up and then notice that I can get started with a new project. So I'm going to create a new project in Google Drive. So it's auto saving and now I can get started. So I'll just go into editing mode and call this one my live demo project. Now once that's built, I need to add a location or a feature. So you can see below my project title, I'll add a new feature. I can search to add something or add a place mark to an existing location. So let's search to add a place and I will search for Boston. Let that drill down to Boston in the Google Earth view. And then what I simply have to do when I find that location is add that to my project. So the project I'm selecting, the location, and notice I can edit the title, and I will save that and add that. Now, once it's been added, you can see that Boston has been added. I can go into editing mode of that particular location and I can change all the data that's associated with that location that Google Maps and Google Earth is already pulling for me. So if I want to provide my own information, I can replace this stock information and notice that I have the ability to upload an image, customize the text, pro provide an information box, and even change the icon associated with it. So I'll call this Boston Custom Information. out and so you can see now it's been renamed and it can have all the information that I associated with that let's add one more location so we'll do add new feature search add a second location to our tour simply add that to the project New York live demo I'll save that location so now that this has been created, it's time to share this out to make sure my students can navigate and explore this location. So like all Google products, notice we have the option to add users. I'm going to tap on that share project icon. And just like Google Docs or Slides or a folder or anything in Google Drive, you have the option to share it with specific users or get a link to the file. So what I'm going to do is change the settings here to make it that anyone with the link can view the file, and then I'll just copy that link. Now to demonstrate what the student experience would be, I'm just gonna open up a new incognito window and go to that link and open up that project that was created in Google Earth on the web. So once the project loads, we'll get the student view of this experience. And remember, this is set up to anyone with the link can view. So notice here, we have live demo project, it's in view only mode, and there's the stop that was added to this project. Now what the students can do is navigate between the stops that you've created, or they can always manually control Google Earth in the main part of the screen, and they can even drag the street view Google Earth character and drop him right into the location and now they can explore this almost as if they're there in a virtual tour so hopefully that helps you get up and running with google earth projects and you can even start creating virtual experiences for your students and take them on trips around the world through google earth thanks for watching